it's an adventure that I uh, can uh, overcome my fear if you want. Dakar is the, the most grueling race in the world. Everybody wants to compete in, the, in Dakar and it's, it's really, uh, really difficult. It's a, it's a human adventure, it's a mechanical adventure. Uh, you, you go uh, as far as you can with your uh, capabilities. And that's what's fun in the Dakar. question uh, yourself and uh, makes you go uh, further than uh, where you think you could, uh, you could go. I was thinking that normally I should throw everything away and say okay I'll go back home now. <laughs> but I was quite surprised that I could each day find the motivation to continue. When you are the driver top of that when you are quite competitive you you don't want to slow down you know you are listening to the driver you try to look about which direction he is telling you to go but suddenly you have some bumps some dune so you are always a little bit scary actually about what what could happen I keep in mind be calm and try to survive I'm Romain Dumas, I'm a 43 year old, I'm from France. Uh, yeah, I'm a professional race car driver since uh, yeah, more than 20 years, mainly in endurance racing, like 24 Hour Le Mans. I won Le Mans uh, two times, so, like, I won Nürburgring 24 Hour four times, Spa 24 Hour two times. And uh, yeah, since some years also, I decided to practice and to enjoy a uh, rally, so it's why I drove uh, now, uh, it will be the fourth time the Dakar Rally. For me, for sure, it's a completely different experience, completely new experience, but uh, I enjoy quite a lot.
when I'm doing endurance races on a circuit or if I'm driving in Pikes Peak or now driving Dakar, it's a little bit like if you compare playing tennis with playing squash and ping pong. You have the same, let's say, tools, but at the end of the day, your driving style is completely different. Normally, I'm used to drive at the same line for 24 hours to do lap time in, let's say, in Le Mans in, in more or less one second than here. You are in the middle of nowhere. You have to find your own way. You don't know where you are going. You don't know what will happen next. So for sure, uh, quicker you want to go, more, let's say, you can have a bad surprise and it can be dangerous. You can damage your car. Uh, it's the right limit to not push too much, you know, and to try to avoid mistakes. Going, uh, I was going back because uh, I have some problem with my uh, inflating system. So on top, I was waiting a little bit, going back. And one guy came uh, and did not avoid me. He took the same line and crashed into me. And uh, yeah, he took out the completely rear right suspension. So uh, yeah, right now we are stuck here. Oui, on va avoir l'assistance qui va venir. On va essayer de, de réparer. What they say is you need to understand, to analyze what will happen next. And you need to, they call it, read it, you know, to, to see what will happen, how with the dune, how with the form, how with the, how with the wind. And I think you need for that to practice, you know, and to, to spend a lot of days and weeks in the sand to understand. When I'm doing Le Mans, it's for sure it's for we, to win the race. So we are ready, we are 100% prepared. We practice a lot, we do a lot of simulation, tests. So uh, you cannot compare that here. It's so new for all of us that we have to learn. So here we cannot say that we are competitive for winning. We first of all need to see the finish line. Well, uh, for sure we have a tough first week in our car because we had a crash on the second day that the car hit us and we lost a completely rear right wheel. So we were on the stage for nine hours trying to repair the car. By chance we repair it. So we continue. Uh, but for sure it was sad, you know, to on a second day already to have an accident. Even if you don't think that somebody can crash into you in the middle of the dune, it's like in the middle of the water, but no, it's like that. But the rest, uh, everything is running better and better, more and more smooth for Alex or myself. So I think we are on the right way now to find the confidence, you know, and to find the decent speed and routine to continue like that and not doing any mistake. Ah, you have to you have to keep in mind that is a long race of uh, 12 stages and it means that also you have to take care a little bit of the car of yourself and on the car you know uh, trying to to respect the engines the gearboxes uh, the clutch because uh, at the end of the day uh, you know if your engine is start to overheat a little bit because you are in the dune or you are stuck it's easy to go full gas and to try to to go out of the dune but you can damage the engine so it's a kind of compromise also to keep in mind that if you want to go long, you have to take care a little bit. It's easy to say, more complicated to do, but it's what we have to do.
had day, a tough day. Uh, unfortunately, after 80 kilometers, we broke the rear left suspension. So, uh, yeah, first of all, we tried to repair it with some tools and so on that we had in the car, but unfortunately, it didn't work. So, uh, we have to, wear, to wait for the assistance. Uh, the truck came like uh, two hours later. So, we changed the wishbone, it was broken. And uh, yeah, after we restart, everything was okay. Unfortunately, the last uh, 80 kilometers was a uh, huge June, so it was very difficult on the night, in the dark. So to drive was quite tough, but uh, at the end of the day, yeah, we survived one more day, but uh, it was difficult today. <laughs> Again, you are, you are coming early at the service park and uh, trying to go to bed quite early. It was always a good motivation. Next day, you have a bad day. You are coming very late and you are thinking, oh man, again, I will have a short night and in the morning restarting. I was surprised how patient I, <laughs> I am, you know. <laughs> and I was thinking, normally, I should throw everything away and say, okay, I'll go back home now. <laughs> but I was quite surprised that I could each day find the motivation to continue, yeah. Well, uh, you know, it's a completely different, uh, different race. It was more like running a marathon and trying to, to reach a finish line. It was all in, all in mind, you know, more than going very fast. You know, thinking of the finish line, that's it. But it's a part of the game. Car number 315 from Rebellion Motors, piloted by Romain Dumas from France and co-piloted by Gilles de Turquiem, also from France. Congratulations. <laughs>